Hi and welcome back. As you'll see I've decided to purchase a uh, smart sensor. Let's uh, take a look, unbox it and then proceed to uh, set it up on the Unify network. So it comes in the usual Unify boxes which are nice solid boxes ideal for storing things in later on. Take the lid off and inside you'll see that there's the smart sensor here it's quite a compact device um, it has a little bit of weight to it um, because of the battery inside it um, let's proceed to take the plastic wrap off the outside then if we continue back into the box there's plastic fitting and also underneath the plastic in that box there's also a uh, small circular tag with a nodule on the top which has the Ubiquiti U logo on it. Then also in the box are a set of screws here, four screws if you can see and also there's a magnetic sensor there so let's put the box to one side and take a look at the smart sensor itself. Now it does have a peel off label at the back which has a self adhesive padding on the back which you can probably use to for example stick on a wall or in the corner. Um, actually for the corner there is a corner fitting here which would be suitable for mounting the Unify smart sensor at an angle say for example in the corner of a room so let's proceed and pull out the tag which stops the uh, battery being activated which should then activate the device and as you can see there's a flashing light at the bottom here Hopefully you can see that on the video. This should be pairing itself to my uh, U6 Pro access point. Um, you do need a U6 access point, whether it be the U6 LR or the U6 Pro or any others in the range. And that also has Bluetooth functionality to it because this smart sensor connects to the wireless access point via Bluetooth into the Unify network. You'll see that the light on there has now turned solid white. So let's proceed into the uh, Unify network controller and see if it has appeared automatically. So here we are at the Unify OS console page after logging in. And we will proceed to click on the dotted square at the top right corner here and then select protect. Then from the left hand side you need to select the second icon down which is unify devices. Here you will see that the device ready to adopt is UP Sense, which is the unify smart sensor. So let's click to adopt it. Give the sensor a name. So for example, for testing purposes, let's call it Sense01. And then click Next in the bottom right hand corner here. So under the placement option, we will select None. And then under the de Detect option, we will select Temperature. And then select Next. Now it's asking us to mount your sensor vertically on a wall as shown below. So for testing purposes, I'm just positioning the sensor up against the wall without using any adhesive and then select next. Now you will see it has taken us back to the protect page here and the type listed as Unify Smart Sensor 
from the icon if you can see that under the name sense01 is the name of the sensor and status connected model UP sense and it's allocated it a, an IP address from the DHCP range so let's click here on this sensor and see what information is provided here you'll see that the name appears as sense01 as a MAC address status is connected model UP sense firmware version battery is 100% sensor ranging between 97% and 100% and the uptime is 7 minutes and the hardware revision is 6. Just above this though you'll see that the temperature being monitored is 27.9 degrees centigrade which is about correct based on the temperature in the room at the moment. So under detections at the top there's nothing listed as we haven't set a temperature alarm range so then click under settings here you will see that the LED is showing us being on events to capture as we selected when we were setting it up you can add different detections in addition to the temperature so we could for example set the light level humidity alarm and also motion detection so this could be used for example as a motion detection in a room so if someone enters the room it would send an alarm signal to notify us of a detection then if we proceed further down we can click on manage under manage you can then click locate sensor which would flash the light on the sensor for 30 seconds to allow you to find where the sensor was or which which room the sensor is located and then moving down you can also click restart sensor to re reboot it and also unmanage sensor if you want to unmanage it and uh, allocate it to another unified network it seems quite straightforward and simple to use which is good as are most of the uh, unified devices from ubiquity they all seem to be uh, self-explanatory and mainly easy to use so uh, thanks for watching this video i will no doubt locate the sensor in the room properly now that I know it's working correctly um, if you do want to purchase any of these unify sensors I'll put links below down in the description um, but do remember you do need a wireless access point which has Bluetooth capability most of them in the uh, U6 range are Bluetooth enabled thanks for watching